dog and so ha having these tips on how to prepare um the videos in advance and have a, a plan already in place so the vet's already got an idea of what's going on is just so so useful um hannah um our wonderful cam hannah has also um popped up a a link for another guide on how to make the videos as well so we've got loads of info there for for everybody who might be thinking about going to the vet to do those telemed consults um, so do you think, I mean, I, I do, but what do you think about this as the future use with these um, lameness videos? I, I, th I think it, this is it. This is the future lameness consult because it takes away all that wasted time in yeah. the clinic because I mean, often with very, with very subtle problems, there may be things the owner sees and they're really worried about. And if they can just capture them on yeah. a, a film, it's so easy for us to upload these things and look at them. And, you know, and sometimes these things can mean they're not important at all. But unless you see them, it's you, you, you can't actually say that. And, and I think, you know, getting on to with, with arthritis, the, the key thing is repetition. It's repeating the assessment. Yeah. And I think that it makes it easier to do these follow-ups if people don't have to necessarily always come into the surgery. We could actually do some of the follow-ups, especially if things perhaps are going well um, at a distance where we, we, we know what's happening and we've, we've got a record of the yeah. movement each time with these little yeah. video clips which we've never be, had before. Absolutely. I think, you know, it's so useful I, I to have... That's, that's going to be really important. Yeah, and I think it's useful to have that, isn't it? Because you've also then got this ongoing record. Um, I... Oh, I like to take videos and pictures of my patients, but often at the very first consult, I don't because the patient's in quite a lot of pain and the owner's worried about them. So it doesn't always feel that appropriate to take the video at that time. But then, five, like three four weeks down the line when the dog's doing so much better I wish I had that before and after video um because you do kind of you you get used to what that dog's doing at that time and it's lovely to look back and see okay yeah he still might be a little bit lame but look how lame he was four weeks ago compared to now we've had loads of improvement like let's see what we can do from here so I think even just from a record of that patient it's really useful to have these videos I think that's absolutely right. And, you know, you know, one of my big, big, big things is measurement because arthritis is a disease that gets better on its own. You know, it, it, well, that's not, it, it, it doesn't get better on its own. It, it changes. It can be yeah. very bad clinically at one point and very good uh, a week later or a month later. And I think what we need are these lifetime records to try and understand, you know, what what pattern a particular dog has so we know when it's time for us to intervene. And more yeah. importantly, we start to learn what the best interventions are without, yeah. you know, me thinking something or you thinking something or Hannah thinking something. We all have this evidence that we can look at and, and agree this thing really works. So this is what we should spend our time doing. Yeah, definitely. And 